G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Caitlin and I'm an American living in beautiful Sydney, Australia. So today is the 11th of November. Over in the States, it's typically called Veterans Day. Here in Australia, it's known as Remembrance Day. And in a lot of other countries across the world, it's also known as Armistice Day. So I don't know that much about Aussie history. This is all still very new to me and this is my very first Remembrance Day here in Australia. Walking around the CBD, I saw plenty of people wearing these red poppies and quite a few people selling them as well. I think if you're Australian, if you grew up especially towards one of the bigger cities, you've definitely seen these. Maybe you've even bought some. But the red poppy is not just a symbol here in Australia, it was also a symbol in America as well. And probably at the time that this video goes live, with the time differences, it will be Veterans Day over in the States. So I don't know too much about Remembrance Day. I know a little bit about Anzac Day. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. I am not that well versed in world history, let's be honest. So there's a chance to learn something new on days like this. It's a, definitely an opportunity to learn something new, a little bit more about Australian culture, a little bit more about Australian history. So grab a Becky, grab a cuppa, and let's watch this video from ClickView, What is Remembrance Day? Each year in November, you may have seen these red poppies worn on people's shirts or shown on TV. Do you know what they are used to commemorate? They are a symbol of Remembrance Day. Remembrance Day is the commemoration of the end of World War I in 1918. But what's the story behind Remembrance Day? So that's where one of the differences lies. Obviously, the date's the same in Veterans Day. It's the 11th of November. Here in Australia, the same, the 11th of November. But that's one of the differences. I know at least enough of Remembrance Day to know that it's to commemorate World War I, mostly. It does sort of expand a little bit more, but not to the same extent that it does over in the States. I figure over in the States, the country been around quite a bit longer than Australia. We've gone through quite a few more wars than Australia, even before World War I. And we typically call it Veterans Day. And it's less of a day of remembering the past and more of a day of honoring and to a degree celebrating the people who are in the military, veterans who have served, their families for their sacrifices that they've gone through. Whereas here in Australia, there's more of a focus on World War I. So I like to talk about the differences between the two cultures because things are so similar and yet so different. If I talk about Remembrance Day to people over in the States, they're probably going to immediately think of Veterans Day when it's actually quite different. It all began with World War I, also known as the Great War, which started in 1914. The soldiers from Australia and New Zealand were part of the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps and were called Anzacs. During the years of World War I, Australia and New Zealand were part of some really horrific battles that saw many people injured or killed, such as the landing at Gallipoli. In one day, both sides agreed on an armistice, which is another word for truce. The signing of this agreement meant that the fighting would stop. So, at 11am on the 11th of November, the guns went silent after four years of continuous war. This was the moment that World War I ended. Because of this, the 11th of November is known as Armistice Day or Remembrance Day. Now, I remember seeing video footage pretty similar to this in my history classes back in the States when they were talking about Veterans Day and Armistice Day. We knew a little bit about World War I. I think there was more of a focus on World War II when it comes to American history. Like, that's one of the things that I've noticed that I guess doesn't really get talked about too much over here is the way that history is treated in Australia and in the States. Not just the fact that America is very like America focused in how they teach it but there's such a focus on World War I over here in Australia. 
from talking to people, from talking about Anzac Day and Remembrance Day, everything seems to fall on World War I to the point that you almost never hear about the people who served in World War II or if anybody was over in Korea or Vietnam or Iraq or Afghanistan. You just don't hear about those things over here, whereas over in the States, it's pretty common for people to talk about Iraq and Afghanistan, especially when things like Veterans Day come up because a lot of those vets are still pretty young. It's pretty fresh in most Americans' minds. And it doesn't feel like something that's from a history book. It's something that a lot of Americans still remember, can still relate to to some extent. A lot of people knew somebody who was in the military during the Afghanistan and Iraq wars. Whereas here in Australia, you don't hear about the more modern stuff. You tend to typically hear about World War One. when it comes to Remembrance Day, when it comes to Anzac Day. That's what there's really a focus on. So it's almost like more modern wars, more modern veterans almost get lost in the shuffle. Now, you might notice that the truce began on the 11th hour of the 11th day on the 11th month. This is why every year at 11 a.m. on the 11th of November, many countries around the world pause for one or two minutes of silence to remember those who have served their country in war. Did you know that in 1997, Australia decided to officially change the name of Armistice Day to Remembrance Day? That's actually pretty recent. I'm surprised. I thought it had been called Remembrance Day for like decades and decades and decades. I didn't realize that, that was a pretty recent change just back in the 90s. If you guys remember that, let me know down below. Like, was it a controversial name change? Did anybody really care that they changed it to Remembrance Day? Let me know down below because I'm curious if that caused any sort of controversy or if people just sort of shrugged their shoulders and went about the day and didn't really care about the name change. This meant that the day recognized and celebrated any Australian who had served in any war or conflict. Now, back to those red poppies. Why are they so special for Remembrance Day? The red poppy was one of the first plants to come up through the grounds of the battlefields of World War I, making it the symbol of soldiers' sacrifice. Since 1918, red poppies have been made using silk or paper and sold to raise money for those serving in war or those who have been affected by war a tradition that continues today. Yeah, like I said, walking around the CBD today, I must have passed three different little clusters of people who were selling these red poppies. Um, I'm not entirely sure if there was like a specific charity organization that it goes to or if it's just a generalized fund to help veterans and their families. I'm not really sure. I didn't really ask. I didn't get too into it. I, definitely something that a lot of Aussies still do is buy poppies like this on Remembrance Day. I feel like red poppies are a symbol that pretty much it's still there but it's not nearly as recognized over in the States. If I wore something like this on Veterans Day I think a lot of people wouldn't really think anything of it not because it's common but because they would just think it's a weird fashion choice or something for the day a symbol but it's not something that's really worn over in the states. We do still use red poppies to commemorate veterans and sometimes you'll see them on Memorial Day as well but over here they're they're very very popular over in Australia. I was actually surprised how many people were wearing them in the CBD. During Remembrance Day there are also many ceremonies held around the world to pay respects to those who fought in World War One. Maybe your town or city even has a cenotaph. A cenotaph is a monument built to honour people who were buried somewhere else. It's at these cenotaphs that people often lay wreaths and where gatherings take place on special days. Oh, I never heard of that before, but that's a really sweet tribute. If anybody knows where one of these is in Sydney, maybe I've walked past it a dozen times and just had no idea, let me know in the comments down below where one of these is in Sydney. I've probably seen it and to be honest just wasn't really aware of what it was. Sometimes there's so much going on in the CBDs between statues and plaques and historical just general things that are there that sometimes you walk past things like this and you don't really notice because you're already surrounded by so much to take in. 
So if anybody knows where this is in Sydney, let me know in the comments down below, please. The 11th of November is a special day to remember those who have fought and continue to fight for Australia. It seems like Remembrance Day is also one of those, I don't want to call it a holiday because it really isn't a holiday. I guess one of those, whatever you want to call it. It seems like something that seems to be fading a little bit more with the younger generation as well. This is something that I noticed a lot of older Aussies were wearing poppies and whatnot. I'm talking people like not necessarily older, older, but like at least in their 30s and older. I didn't see any younger kids wearing them. I didn't see any teenagers or really any people in their 20s wearing them either. So I don't know if this is something that is sort of falling out of fashion, if the day just doesn't mean as much to the younger generation here, or if that just happened to be where I was. I mean, you never know. Sometimes you're in the CBD and you get a lot of tourists and whatnot, and sometimes they just blend in with the crowd and you don't really realize that they're tourists but I didn't see anybody in my office wearing one. I saw a lot of older people who were walking around the CBD with them, but again, no younger people. So I don't know if this is one of those traditions that is slowly starting to fade with the generations. But there were some things I definitely already knew about Remembrance Day and some things I definitely learned from this video. Very useful, obviously geared towards a slightly younger audience, but still informative nonetheless. So to any Australian and American vets who might be part of our little Amer Australian family here on YouTube, thank you guys. Thank you to your families. Thank you to those who are serving, those who have served. Your sacrifice doesn't go unnoticed. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button down below, especially the like button because apparently now YouTube really, really cares about likes now. Uh, the algorithm is ever-changing, you guys. I really do appreciate the support and I will see you in my next video.